Good evening. The family of a nurse who died from coronavirus has told ITV News they believe she caught it because she didn't have enough protective equipment. 55-year-old Josie Annie Coley, a mother of five, worked at Harrogate District Hospital and died on Easter Monday. Her family also want to know why she wasn't tested quickly enough. Well, today, the government defended itself over nationwide delays in getting protective gear to the front line. The Chancellor today defended the government's attempts to get equipment to frontline staff, saying it was a challenge for countries across the world. He said authorities are pursuing every available option and that regular shipments are being received. But one nurse has told ITV News things are getting worse. Here's our health correspondent, Emily Morgan. And our political letter to Robert Pez. Well, the Welsh Government today abandoned its target of testing 5,000 people a day for coronavirus. Now, ITV News has seen a letter from GPs telling care homes that their patients are unlikely to get emergency ventilators if they end up in intensive care. Our political correspondent... Now, the Chancellor says the first day of the government's job retention scheme has seen 140,000 firms apply, with grants helping more than a million people. It'll pay up to 80% of workers' wages, and the first cash is set to be paid within days. Our business editor, Joel Hills, looks at whether or not it'll work. Still to come, the ITV Evening News. Back those stories and more after the break. Join me then. And welcome back. Now, it may not feel like it for many parents, but today is officially the start of the school summer term. For most, that now means the restart of homeschooling. Difficult for most families, especially if so you can't afford all the equipment that you might need. Damon Green saw how parents and teachers in Bradford are taking on the challenge. Let's have a look at some other news now. And Canada has seen its worst ever mass shooting after at least 19 people were killed by a gunman disguised as a policeman. The... Now, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have stepped up their war with the British tabloid press, telling editors they'll end all cooperation and have what they call zero engagement. The couple who now live in Los Angeles sent a strongly worded letter to The Sun, The Daily Mail, The Daily Mirror and The Daily Express. It spoke of the human cost of false and distorted articles. Here's our royal editor, Chris Ship. Rare public statement. The Duke of Edinburgh has praised all those working to confront coronavirus and the people helping to maintain essential services. Prince and finally tonight, with many of us keen to give something back to our frontline workers, meet a woman who's taken more steps than most. Olivia Strong came up with the idea of Run for Heroes, combining her daily exercise with raising money for medics. Well, it's been such a hit, she's raised millions and gained the support of Olympic champion Mo Farah. In the latest of our series, In This Together, Olivia told our Scotland correspondent Peter Smith about her runaway success. There you go. You can't say no to Mo, can you? So, as they say, watch this space. And that's it for now. Tom's here at 10, but from me and all the teams, stay safe, stay well, stay indoors. Bye-bye.